Another impact day here in the Piedmont Triad. Dylan, when do we right. expect some storms to possibly pop up? Oh, well, take a look at the watch any minute now. Really, mm -hmm. honestly, over the next couple hours, that's when we'll start to see activity increase. We have a storm risk later this afternoon and evening. I'm expecting highs in the upper 80s. Notice on this graphic you see lots of 80s and no 90s. Yeah, some changes are on the way with the forecast and I think they're all for the better and something you're going to like too. More chances for rain and milder temperatures too, especially for Friday and then Saturday. That storm chance also increases as well. So outside right now, it's pretty warm, pretty humid. You can tell the sky looks a little unsettled. Lots of uh, energy in the atmosphere today. We'll look for some storms to pop up here shortly. 87 in Winston Salem right now. We've got some peaks of sun in the clouds and uh, mostly quiet for our area. But in southern Virginia, there's been a weakening storm complex that's kind of skirted through just north of the Danville area, now appro approaching south Boston and eventually moving toward I 85 through southern Virginia later today. Uh, there is one shower or thunderstorm, I should say, now starting to develop with some thunder and lightning in. Caswell County that's moving off into Person County toward Roxborough, but for the rest of our area, we're quiet for now. But again, it's really over the next couple hours. We'll watch for scattered storms to begin to pop up. Temperatures won't get a whole lot warmer, only mid and upper 80s for us on your Thursday afternoon. That best chance of storms through about 8 o'clock and then things should start to calm down uh, with temperatures in the 70s overnight. For the foothills, that storm chance ends a little bit sooner, likely through about dinner time and things start to quiet down this evening uh, with highs in the mid 80s later this afternoon. It's a warm and humid day, but not hot like it has been. So that's good news there. Our average in the mountains today 82 only at 77 this afternoon in Sparta, Boone and Jefferson with a few lingering showers into the evening time, maybe even overnight as well. But rain chances should wind down pretty soon in the mountains. So this is what the radar might look like. Notice this is what we're seeing right now. Those additional storms start to fire up over the next couple of hours as the cold front moves closer. This is what the radar might look like at five o'clock. The northern Piedmont likely getting some bumpy storms and even south along I-85 to Lexington and down toward the Charlotte area as well. Some bumpy storms popping up. One or two of these could be strong or severe, so stay alert for that. Really 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. the main time frame to watch. A damaging wind gust would be our main concern. Uh, some small hail also can't be ruled out. And of course, heavy rain, thunder and lightning uh, are, are likely along with these storms as well. But from here, remember the front is what's sparking those storms later today. It'll stall across our area Friday and into Saturday and Sunday. That's that change in our weather pattern. We'll bring back daily chances for rain and storms, some extra clouds, and while it will still be pretty humid, those high temperatures won't be able to climb quite as high. So I'm going to be talking about highs in the 80s for the next uh, seven days, which is good news, of course, and those daily chances for rain and storms are welcome too. Uh, the latest drought monitor map just came in and as expected, drought just keeps on getting worse. Severe drought in much of the foothills and it's crept into the triad now. Yadkin County in an extreme drought right now, so we can certainly use some rain and over the next seven days we've got a good chance to get some highs in the 80s all the way through the middle of next week.